Today, we will discover Giovanna Garzoni. Giovanna is one of the most important female artists in Italian history, and she was renowned throughout the courts of Europe. And as well as being a very skilled painter, she was also a brilliant businesswoman who became very wealthy through her art. Giovanna also made an astonishing painting, which is the earliest known European portrait miniature to depict an African gentleman. Giovanna started her career painting religious, mythological and allegorical subjects, but became famous for her works with tempera and watercolours of botanical subjects. Giovanna rose to prominence due to her precision and balance with space and scientific realism of her subjects. These vibrant paintings display a conscious yet subtle balance between scientific realism and decorative effect. The inclusion of insects, animals and well-placed shadows serve to further enliven the compositions. During the nine years she spent in Florence, she became one of the preferred artists of the Medici court, a renowned Italian banking family and a political dynasty at the time. Although her artwork was critiqued by her contemporaries for a subject matter, portraits and still lives were viewed as uh, lower forms of art in comparison to figure painting historical themes, but Giovanna's paintings were hugely popular amongst the clients. In 1635, Giovanna made a remarkable miniature that is the earliest known European portrait miniature to depict a black sitter. It represents a moment all too rare in the European history of the early modern period, one in which an African sitter is treated by an artist in the exactly same terms as a European. Who the African gentleman was were a mystery until 2019 when it was revealed the African man is Zaga Christ, an Ethiopian prince who felt he had a claim to the throne of Ethiopia after his father was murdered. He travelled to Europe to try to get support for this claim with a great deal of extraordinary adventures along the way. Giovanna painted him very sensitively just as she would have done a European court official. The fact that Giovanna attempted to write her own name in Ethiopian at the back of the portrait might suggest that they had become quite close while Giovanna was painting Zaga's portrait. Giovanna might have been married for a very short period, but most of her life she lived as an independent woman and she pursued her career with intensity. Giovanna's paintings were so well liked that according to one writer she could sell her work for whatever price she wished. At a time when flower paintings were sold at markets throughout Europe for the price of a fresh bouquet, Giovanna could ask virtually any sum for her commissioned works which comprised portraits as well. Rather than being compensated with jewels and trinkets like many of her female contemporaries, Giovanna was paid in cash and by the time of her death was a wealthy woman. What do you find fascinating about Giovanna? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.